rodeos provide plenty of great photo opportunities. Many of the photographs you see in any rodeo program and publication are taken by Louise Serpa. Well, I started uh, 25 years ago. It was a little different then. I wasn't trying to prove anything. I just kind of happened into it by mistake, starting the junior rodeo and then building on up. Have you seen the role of women in the rodeo change during the 25 oh, tremendous, years? Tremendously. I was the first one to be allowed in the arena with a card. And now, oh, there are five, six, seven, eight of us in, in the country that are doing a lot of it. Julie Bellmeyer is an 18-year-old high school student from Marana. She's been a professional rodeo rider for four years. Bellmeyer is considered a rising star on the pro rodeo circuit. Well, I hope to go a long ways after I graduate from high school. I hope to go to college and college rodeo, and hopefully I'll have the time to go down the road a little bit more than I've been able to. La Fiesta de los Vaqueros is one stop on the circuit of the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association. While women do compete, they have their own organization, the Professional Women's Rodeo Association. And of course, there is the Rodeo Queen, who is not selected because of her beauty alone. Many compete in the rodeos. That was true of Isabel Benton, who was the queen of La Fiesta de los Vaqueros in the 20s. She doesn't remember the exact year. I, I used to like to ride, but no more. My uncle used to have a big ranch, and he got some nice horses. And always the, the cowboys they like to make fun, you know. One day they have a, a very wild horse. And my uncle, you know, he come around and he said, don't get on the horse. And I pat on the horse and the horse, you know, started hee hee hee. And I get on and she start walking. He says, well, how do you do it? I said, because I pet him and kiss him. <laughs>